Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about feature scaling. So before moving forward, let's see what are feature first. All right. So in your data set, you have rows as well as columns, right? So your columns are also known as features or attributes and your rows here are known as data points or instances. So here these columns are known as features. So here you have the feature product ID price in India that is in INR price in USA that is in dollar. All right. And here you have these two in numeric feature which is price in India and price in USA. So here we do only this feature scaling for numeric values only. All right. So here let's consider this first row and we want to compare these two values which is 5080 and let's say you don't have this column all right so you don't have this column and you want to compare these two values which is 5080 so you will say that this 5000 is greater than 80 right so can we say that the price in India is higher than the price in USA? Now, by looking at these two values only, which is 5080, you will say that, right, the price in India is greater than the price in USA. But what if I tell you that this 80 is in dollar and I also give you that $1 equals to 75 INR? and you do the mathematics it comes out that the price in usa is 6000 inr right so here price in usa is greater than the price in india right so here you have this magnitude and also we have this unit of measurement but in machine learning models we cannot fit units we can only fit in number in our machine learning algorithms so we came up with this scaling our feature so that they are in some fixed range and you can compare them easily all right now let's see what are the different methods for scaling your features so here feature scaling is a technique to standardize the independent feature present in the data in fixed range all right now let's see how we do it so here you see this formula we call this as mean max normalization and it is given by x scale that is your scaled value equals to x minus x of minimum x maximum minus x minimum all right so here let's consider this for price in india and we will calculate this for first row and by the same method you can calculate it for the other rows as well so here your x is the first value so this becomes your x and here you find this maximum value in that column so it comes out to be 12000 and also you find out this minimum value now that you have your x x minimum and x maximum you put this in this formula and calculate the scaled value and it comes out to be 0.22 similarly you are going to do it for price in USA and here it comes out to be 0.47 so here you see that 0.47 is greater than 0.22 right so now after scaling you can compare these two values easily now let's see another method here and we call this as standardization where your values are present mostly scattered around this mean and in mean max normalization your values are present in some fixed range so if you have positive values only then the range is going to be 0 and 1 between 0 and 1 and if you have negative values as well then the range is going to be between minus 1 and 1 so here in a standardization it is given by xi minus 
mu that is your mean divided by sigma and it is your standard deviation so let's calculate this for price in india here so here xi is 5000 and you put calculate the mean of this column which is price in india and also the standard deviation and you put that here in this formula so here it comes out to be minus 0 0.45 Similarly, you do this for price in USA. All right. So here XI is 80. Again, you calculate the mean of this column and standard deviation and put this in this formula. And it comes out to be minus 0 0.12. Again, you can compare these two values and see that minus 0 0.12 greater than minus 0 0.45. So now after scaling, we can easily compare this value and they are in some fixed range all right and also let's consider this example here where you have this product id and you have price so here it is not mentioned that the price whether it is in us usd or inr let's say if this is in 50 here is in usd and here it is in inr then again you are going to face some issues here right so you will if you do some calculation then this 50 is going to have low value as you don't have its scale which is usd or unit right so again you do your feature scaling for this price as well so that they are in some fixed range so we do this feature scaling so that our values are in some fixed range irrespective of their unit of measurement so i hope you are clear about this fe feature scaling now so thank you